Today on Tech Help, we're going to be taking a very detailed look at the Cadillac Q system in this 2015 Cadillac Escalade Premium. The Cadillac Q system as a whole is fairly fast and logically laid out. However, the touchscreen was not always responsive. When the proximity sensing is enabled, it will automatically open the screen menu when you put your hands close to the screen. This is especially helpful in the navigation, as it lets you have a full screen view until you want to make a change. Overall, the system is well laid out and feature rich, but suffers from a few performance issues. First, let's take a look at audio. In here, you will find all your different audio sources, including Bluetooth, which allows you to play, pause, or skip songs without a physical connection to your smart device. Each of these sources has their own sound settings, which allow you to change the bass, mid, and treble. Additionally, you can change the distribution of the sound throughout the speakers and the cabin by either doing it manually or by picking a preset at the bottom of the screen. You can switch between your audio sources at the bottom of the screen. A cool feature is that live radio can now be paused for up to 20 minutes. Throughout the system, you can access your radio presets. Most of the time, the radio controls are hidden until you trigger the proximity sensors. You also have quick buttons at the top to quickly jump between different parts of Q without having to go to the home screen. Going into the phone section, you can call people using the physical dial pad or your sync contacts through your connected smartphone. By clicking the arrow at the bottom of the screen, you can bring up the menu at any time. As you can see, the bottom corner of the screen is particularly not sensitive. However, this issue may be specific to just our model. You can easily scroll through your synced contacts just like you would on a cell phone. You can also pair different smart devices to the car from here. Say a phone command. Voice commands can be triggered here or through the steering wheel mounted Goodbye. controls. Let's take a look at the navigation. You can move around the map very simply just like you would on a tablet. One nice feature is that this system allows you to pinch to zoom, unlike Chevy MyLink and most other systems on the market. Entering destinations is easy with a full screen keyboard, or you can use voice controls with accept destinations and one string of speech. In the menu, you can access several different navigation features. One of those features is the navigation voice, which can be adjusted to your personal preference. This system also has traffic alerts, which can warn you of nearby collisions and adjust your course accordingly. Please note that traffic does require an XM subscription. You can also set different points of interest icons to pop up on the map. This is especially convenient for gas stations and restaurants, since you can see what is coming up along your route. The map itself has several modes you can pick from, including 3D view. Now let's take a look at the settings. This system has a built-in valet mode, which allows you to protect your personal data with a PIN code. You can also change the number of radio presets that appear on the ribbon at the bottom of the screen.
The maximum startup volume determines the max loudness that the radio can be at when you first enter the vehicle. In vehicle settings, you can change pretty much every aspect of the vehicle. Note that not every Cadillac model is equipped with the specific vehicle options that this Escalade Premium has. In this menu, you have settings for any safety systems that your model comes equipped with. On most Cadillac models, warning tones are replaced with a safety alert seat, which vibrates your butt when the parking sensors, cross traffic alert, or lane departure warning systems are triggered. Auto Easy Exit moves the seat and steering wheel to help you get out easier. You can also change the chime volume. You can turn on and off the reverse tilt mirror from here. The rear wiper can automatically be set to turn on to clear off the rear window when the car is in reverse. You can change various vehicle lighting settings from here to your personal liking. You can also turn on and off your automatic high beams. Your different door lock settings. In here you have many settings involving your remote start, including the remote window operation which automatically rolls down the windows. In voice settings you can change different settings to meet your personal preferences. You can change the length of the voice prompts to be long or short. In the display section, you can change many different features pertaining to the display. A unique feature to the Q system is the proximity sensor. This system does have built-in Pandora, which automatically launches on your connected smart device. On the screen you have all the same controls that you have on your smartphone. Another nice feature is built-in weather. However, it does require an XM subscription just like the traffic. OnStar ready. OnStar is a useful feature equipped on every General Motors vehicle, regardless of whether or not it is equipped with the Q system. You can say, hands-free calling, turn-by-turn -turn directions, OnStar info, virtual advisor, Wi-Fi settings, help, or say a command, like call. OnStar services are free for three months, but you may be wondering what happens after that. OnStar has several plans to choose from, which incrementally give you access to more features as you step up. The base protection plan includes automatic crash response and 24-7 roadside assistance for $19.99 a month. For $5 more per month, the security plan adds theft alarm notification and remote control over the stolen vehicle, which gives police the ability to track and control parts of the vehicle. At $35 a month, the top-of-the-line guidance plan adds 30 hands-free talk minutes and a concierge which can remotely give you navigation instructions find points of interest, and wirelessly book hotels for you. As I'm sure you've noticed, the 4G LTE Wi-Fi is not included in any of these plans. There is an additional charge for it, and the prices are listed on the screen. Hands-free calling and family stocking is also included for an additional charge. Prices are listed on the screen. Part of the queue system are these touch-capacitive buttons below the screen. 
Another unique feature is that this panel swings open, revealing a hidden storage compartment underneath. When you touch the panel, it vibrates, letting you know it has registered your input. 